Hi, Kay Hall here, and I have a little treat for you today. Um, this is the week that we celebrate um, St. Francis de Assisi and St. Francis was the patron saint of animals in the environment. And every year at my church, starting about four years ago, we read a prayer to St. Francis. This is a prayer I am very proud to say that I wrote, um, at least I physically wrote, and I think God um, was writing with me as I wrote it, and I'd like to read it to you. At the end of each sentence, we're going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. I'm going to say it together, and I'll go like this. Are you ready? Okay. Dear God, we thank you for creating all species of animals and entrusting their care to us. Lord, hear our prayer. For all public animal rescue institutions, local and worldwide, Lord, hear our prayer. For all private and grassroots organizations, and individuals that quietly rescue on their own time and in their own way. Lord, hear our prayer. For all field biologists and scientists, past and future, that help us to better understand our animal friends. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all industries who process animals for consumption that they may enforce humane practices. Lord, hear our prayer. For the billions of creatures that sacrifice for us every day so that we may live, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those that serve and maintain national parks and animal sanctuaries, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who work to rehabilitate the great beasts in distress caused by cruelty and ignorance. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those animals who train and are trained as rescue, companion, and working teams, Lord, hear our prayer. For all pet owners and friends who were parted too soon, Lord, hear our prayer. That all children may be taught to love and respect God's creatures, a gift passed on to them by their elders. Lord, hear our prayer. And finally, we pray for all God's creatures, great and small. Lord, hear our prayer. Kay Hall, signing off.